Hello everyone, welcome back. And today I'm incredibly excited to share uh, one of the books that has been long-listed, short-listed even, for the Women's Prize 2023. We have Trespasses by Louise Kennedy. And if you are reading this, uh, if you're watching this even, having read it, you will probably be as much of an evangelist about this book as everyone else. The Women's Prize was obviously eventually won by um, Demon Copperfield. Had it not won, there was quite a bit of money. The sort of outsider was on Trespasses, this book by Louise Kennedy, a debut novel, because, and I'll be honest here, it's bloody amazing. Like it's bloody amazing. Like it's so good. It's just, it's original. It's tender. It's insightful. It's surprising. And yet it, we are, seem to be initially on such familiar ground. Okay, Louise, you're amazing. I think you're incredible. But let me just explain to everyone else roughly what this book is about. We are following a May to September love affair across the sectarian divide in Belfast during the Troubles. In the 1980s, we are sat with Kushla. She is a young primary school teacher who also has a second job working nights in her brother's pub. Her mum is an alcoholic, but she lives with to prop her up. However, they are a Catholic family and they are subject to enforcement and troubling behavior by the British, paramil by the British uh, army. One night in the pub when Kush is working, in walks Michael Agnew, a Protestant, a married man, and a lawyer who spends a lot of time with uh, young men who have become radicalized and have committed crimes in the name of the Republican movement. It is a fateful intervention because Kushler falls for Michael Agnew, hook, line and sinker. It is the first most significant love affair of her life and it is one that will define her for the rest of her life. It is such a simple premise, a May to September relationship. And okay, we're across a sectarian divide. Oh, when we're back in the troubles, which has been a popular subject matter in fiction recently. Just, it's just so delicately done. What is really Louise looking at here is Kushler, this young woman who is already having a hard time with a, a mother who needs emotional support and sometimes physical support. She's got pressures of her own. She's young. She, she would like to meet a man, but her meet, the men that she meets are awkward, not quite right. Um, and of course, the environment of a civil war is not the place to meet anyone. Her kids are traumatized either by the Catholic priests that come around and lecturing their kids or by the British army. She has kids whose fathers and brothers are being mutilated and by both sides in the conflict. It's not the British army, it's the power of militaries for beating up their own side for not doing enough or doing too much or being too friendly or being too this or being too that. She's a woman with everything coming in at her at all angles. The kids at school are unhappy, poorly fed, in poverty, no one's got any money. She's trying to just hold it all together. And she's also trying to fall in love. And then she does fall in love. And she falls in love with the wrong man. She falls in love with a man that she cannot have. A man who has his own issues. A man who's already caught up deeply in the conflict in a way that is extremely traumatizing and difficult for him. It is a sad story of a woman wanting to be in love and finding love and doing everything she can to make it happen when all the odds are against her. It's a beautiful story, Trespasses, and Kushla is brought to life beautifully by Louise. She, you feel the little disappointments, the little hopes, the little behavior changes when the phone rings or how stupid you feel when you're just standing out on that corner waiting them for to come. Or the times you just go and hang out in the bar knowing that sometimes they come into that bar and then they don't come in and you've made an effort and you look stupid. And it's just those little observations that build into these hopes that you have for Kushla that she can get through it. But also Louise crafts an incredible backdrop. When you are working as a writer in a war zone, you can get swept away by the drama, the necessary drama of the war. 
And here, Louise just brings the Civil War in in the most painful ways, but it's not overwrought, it's not overdone. It is just how ordinary lives just cannot be ordinary with the British army strangling the life out of Belfast. It is beautifully written. Everyone who's read this has loved it, and I urge you to read it. It's not going to be a book with the happiest of endings. When do May to, May to September relationships ever end well? But Kushla is such a beautiful character and you see so much, I'm saying this as a woman, obviously, you do see so much of your old behavior in her. Just these little observations. And the cast of characters is fantastic. From other teachers, her friends in the school, to Kushla's mum is a really nuanced, brilliant character. That just the way the Catholicism is gently weaved in and it's sort of nastiness just poking in at the edge. The young kids who just, you know, where kneecapping is a, something they understand at the age of seven. It's, it's just brutal, this brutal world that Louise plant, tries to plant happy seeds of love in and just see how, if they can grow. I adored this Trespasses and had probably had it not been for Demon Copperfield, I really think Trespasses stood a really, really big shot of winning. And uh, I hope Louise Kennedy isn't too disappointed because this book deserves to be read widely and I really hope it is and I can't wait to read her next one. Until then, please, please read Trespasses by Louise Kennedy.